I should have taken in a show. I love a good play. <laughs> you? The last play you went to see was The Chippendales, which incidentally is not a play. It was in a theatre. <laughs> it had an interval. I had ice cream. <laughs> theatre should be exciting. I was stuck to my seat. <laughs> it took three usherettes to prize me off. I should go to the theatre more often, you know. It's your fault I never go to the theatre. Always showing me up, jumping onto the stage during Annie. I was born to play that part. <laughs> that sun will come out <clears throat> tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> We went to see cats. What did you shout at the lovely Elaine Page? Show me your pussy, I'll show you mine. <laughs> and when we went to see Jesus Christ Superstar, you ran around the interval telling all the children, he dies in the end. Ah, oh, stop shouting at me. I'll shout at you, I bloody well like. Shh. I feel queasy. I think that milk in me cup of tea this morning must have been off. <laughs> Oh, just imagine, imagine. Imagine all the families gathering together at this moment, all cracking open a bottle of port and ruminating. Oh, damn it, disgusting. <laughs> you know, will, will the millennium bug really happen? Will computer systems crash all over the world? Imagine how we would have fared a thousand years ago. You'd probably have rickets. <laughs> <laughs> My auntie Shirley had them. Very bow-legged she was. She couldn't stop a bull in an alleyway. <laughs> She played cricket for East Ham ladies, you know. Here, she put the ricket in the cricket. <laughs> I'd probably been on first name terms with Oscar Wilde. <sighs> Do you know what? She used to sit me on her knee and I'd drop straight through to the floor. <laughs> the amount of times I'd crack me head open. 